Hello, my name is Father Jack Costello. I'm the rector of the Epiphany Cathedral. Thank you so much for viewing our webpage and becoming more familiar with us as a faith community. Please join us if you can for any of our masses or religious services or any of the other activities we have here at Epiphany Cathedral. In this section of the webpage, I give a short reflection on the previous Sunday's gospel. This past Sunday, the gospel was from Luke, and it was about Jesus being in his hometown of Nazareth in the synagogue when he got up and read from the scriptures from Isaiah and told the people as they heard these words being spoken, he was fulfilling them. And it talks about their reaction to just hearing that from our Lord. A toll plaza just outside a large major city Every morning, you would find very short lines of commuters at five of the six toll booths, but a very long line at the sixth one. On a busy morning, in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, why would anyone drive up to a long line when there were five much shorter lines available to them? It was all because of the toll taker in that sixth booth. Without fail, this toll collector had a very friendly, personal greeting for everyone who passed through his booth. He'd greet them with, how are you doing today? How's the family? And even surprising inquiries like, what happened to your glasses? The commuter said that not even his family had noticed that he had lost his glasses, but the toll collector not only noticed, but expressed his concern. Such was the power of this one toll collector, that harassed drivers would line up, adding five to ten minutes to their morning commute, simply to be refreshed by this man's friendly words and authentic kindness. In fact, bringing springs of new life into a world that routine stress had rendered so toxic. God reveals his word of love and reconciliation through unexpected prophets, like the collector at the toll booth. God raises up parents and teachers, priests and ministers, friends and classmates, toll collectors, to help us realize our own call to be prophets of God's word, to embrace God's grace, and enable us to transform our own Nazareth into God's dwelling place. More often than not, the prophets we do not accept are ourselves. Why is that? I think it's because we're fearful or maybe intimidated or too self-absorbed to realize the responsibility of our own baptism. Our baptisms, which called us to share in Jesus' mission daily in building up God's kingdom in the world by being ministers of God's compassion, mercy, and love. May we possess the grace to act prophetically with love and forgiveness. May we embrace the wisdom to hear God speaking to us in the example of these prophets in our midst, imitating their proclaiming the love of God and their love for others, and the justice and peace of God in the selfless integrity of the lives which they live among us. Following the example of the toll collector, may we strive to be grateful good stewards of the Lord, who joyfully and generously share their time, talent, and treasure with the Lord and with those who are in need of God's love, mercy, and compassion. In the upcoming week, may we follow the example of Jesus and look for the Lord's will for us wherever we may find ourselves. And may we take our own time to reflect upon what Nazareth the Lord is calling us to serve in the upcoming week to proclaim his love, his mercy, and his compassion. God bless and have a great week.